Now let's refactor a bit the component. We have a list of objects or array of objects here and we would like to have array of tasks so it's more precise and understandable what we are using. Let's create type task. It will have ID, string, name, also string, created add as a date and completed add also as a date. Now we can say that we'll have array of task types and then the rest as it is. Like that we have also auto completion on the attributes in here. Next we can do is extract the task item component. Let's create it here. And copy the components. We'll have the props. We will have item of the type task type. To use this task type, we need to either export it or extract it into this separate file. Let's choose the second option and create file types and extract this type there. Now we can import it here and also here. Also, we need to export styles that we had ready for this task item. And export the component. Now we can use it here. This task item and this item will just forward the task. Save it. And nothing changed, which means the refactor was correct. Next, what we can do is to extract this um, database call into a separate file and have all the calls in one file. Let's use the Firestore file for this so far and we'll extract this call to the special function get tasks and, and in this function we'll call the database and return the array of the tasks like this although it will be a promise of task type array. Like this. Now we can take this function and put it here 
and also export it for the future use. Now, instead of database, we'll export get tasks and we will use it here get tasks then set tasks like this our component got smaller but much more better readable and again uh, we have a warning that each child in a list should have unique key this happened because we moved the view and replaced it with task item. So here we have also again write key and it will be task ID as in previous case. And here we don't need it anymore. Let's save and warning is gone. Let's save our changes into Git.